Oh, Trump has definitely turned the White House into the real life apprentice show. You're fired. I mean, he is really pushing people out of the White House. It, it's been more people that left the White House. He didn't fire so many people in the first six, seven months of his own staff that he got elected, that he brought on board. So you got you got this crazy Trump fan who's like coked up all the time, look like at least Anthony Scaramucci. His name should be Anthony Kokamucci. He looked like he's coked out every 10 times I've seen him. And he's ranting about oh, getting Priebus out of there. Rinsey Priebus, he's got to go. He's ruining the White House. Then Sean Spice is gone. John Kelly is taking his place. Priebus is in, you know, Priebus was more of a soft guy where, you know, you got a nice, good coke head <laughs> and Scaramucci <laughs> who just loved how soft Priebus was. <laughs> he wanted him out. And they felt that Scaramucci is not the kind of guy that should be doing interviews. This is the kind of guy that'll be saying the wrong type of stuff in the interview because he'll be so jacked up off coke. So, <laughs> see, to all the Republicans, this is what you wanted. You, why be in shock this weekend? All the chaos around Trump White House said this was going to happen the moment he got elected. Why are you surprised? This is why I didn't say nothing when he got the White House. It's like, why I do the protest? He's going to prove everybody wrong. He's going to prove that he's going to be what he is. He doesn't know he was in over his head. And now they see just how hard running a country really is. And then when they dump it on you, and this you basically bought the White House and bought the presidency to think this was going to help your brand? Uh, guess again. See, now that the chief of staff is out, <laughs> and that news broke, but we all knew that was coming because Scary Vucci didn't already told people his days was numbered. <laughs> so he said, I submitted my reg. <laughs> resignation is like dude you had a they gave you a resign or be prosecuted type of deal what was you gonna do so now you got the home line i mean home line homeland security secretary john kelly taking over they're making the whole white house into a general it's gonna be a military operation ran off coke so <laughs> Nothing but kill, 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 coke, coke, coke all over the White House. It's a dangerous time, at least, handing over. That's going to be over there. And all the loyalists to the president are arguing that that previous ousting was overdue and it could bring a turning of the page for the administration. <laughs> the total of his first six months. Has been incredible. The president's hitting the reset button. That's all. He wants to bring adults into the room now. How many times are he going to keep hitting the reset button? That's like playing a video game with somebody and they keep getting blown out and they get mad and keep hitting reset. It's like, hey, man, I'm putting up stats in this game and you hitting the reset button. <laughs> How many times, and look, you just can't play the game. It's time to get out. Just face it. You can't keep hitting reset. But see, now the Republicans are all skeptical now because of the political spectrum that's going on right now. And all of it is beset the White House. See, They got Steve Bannon and and previous their buddies, okay? 
Let me tell you that right now. Steve Bannon and previous they, you know, they're they're pretty much buddies. And Scaramucci got coked out of his mind, allegedly. Went on a, a rant. <laughs> he went on a rant Friday that was published in the New York Times. Or oh, a New Yorker, or whatever. And he's going after Steve Bannon and Priebus. His days is numbered around here. Now, all of this is about this Affordable Care Act that got shut down. And it collapsed in the early hours of Friday. I think 51 to 49. When John McCain, Susan Collins, and Lisa, what's her name, Murkowski from Alaska, rebel to sink a pared-down repeal bill. Those developments followed the president's unexpected announcement on Twitter that he's banning transgender people for serving in the military. So now, the GOP operative in Florida, who's close to the Bush family, they recall Judge Bush's comments during the last presidential primary that Trump would be the chaos president if he was elected. <laughs> I think it's absolutely the case. <laughs> it's not even a matter of interpretation. But this is what you got, people. You wanted this. And where's your wall? Where's your illegal immigrants going out of the country? Where is all the jobs that's supposed to be coming into the United States when they're still going out of the United States? Uh, remember Carrier? Yeah, they're still shipping those jobs straight to Mexico. Because it's what? Less costly. And in the end, it's all business. The Carrier people help campaign and sponsor Trump and get him the votes. And you guys believed it. You bought in. You bought into a guy that you've seen on reality television. You bought into a president who only responds to people on Twitter. Making worldwide decisions. Not in a formal address. But on Twitter. This is what this country has come to. Now you have to say to yourself, what part did you play in this coming to be? I'm out.